Do you want to know the best ways to implement data visualization into your work? Long gone are the days of creating visuals by just pushing a button and changing a few colors on a graph. We're looking at you, eighth grade science fairs. When it comes to creating visuals for different data sets, there's a lot of thought involved before you even get to the visualization part. At least there should be if you want your visuals to be effective. Today at JotForm, we're going to help you ensure your visuals accomplish their goals by telling you about some data visualization best practices. I'm Noel. let's go. First off, you need to keep your eye on the prize, and in this case, the prize is your target audience. When designing your visuals, you should be prepared to adjust your design approach, if needed, based on your target audience. For example, if your target audience is made up of executives or other senior leaders, they might only have a few seconds to review what you've created. Since time is money, you don't want to waste any of it by not getting straight to the point. You'll want to prepare visuals that present key points your audience wants to know about. The more simple the design, the better. Anticipating their needs and finding the easiest way for them to consume the data you're showcasing is crucial. Provide your audience with a clear backdrop of what they're viewing, especially as it compares to what they deem important. Context, even in visual form, is essential whenever you're communicating data. Say your audience is concerned about certain goals or past performance. You want to shape your visual data as it relates specifically to those concerns. Giving them a brief summary of how you discovered the data so they understand the logic behind it can go a long way with guiding your audience to better interpret what they're viewing. Like pretty much anything else in life, in order to keep your work authentic and reliable, you must remain unbiased. When visualizing data, it's easy to display it in a way that supports your hypothesis. Don't misrepresent the data to meet your own agenda. This could even occur on a subconscious level, which is why it's imperative to keep an eye out to avoid biased data at all costs. It's absolutely natural to want to make your work valuable, but relaying the data exactly how it is and not bending it slightly shows integrity. It'll also go a long way with gaining the trust of your audience. Although it may seem easier to just start working on a visual and see what it turns into, it's best to plan before you design. Otherwise, it's likely you'll put unnecessary limitations on your design efforts. Instead, take the time to determine the best way to visualize the data before backing yourself into a corner. Having a plan will save you time and energy in the long run. Try planning your visuals on paper or in a simple software program first. Then run them by someone who's less involved with the data. Do they see any gaps that you've missed? Someone else may be able to identify where data points need to be better explained. Fresh eyes can often highlight things that we ourselves miss. Nothing loses trust in data visualization faster than questions about the underlying data's validity. It's important that whoever develops or presents the visuals must at least know the data sources and be able to speak to the quality of those sources. If the audience can't trust the data, they can't trust whatever conclusions you want them to draw from the visuals. Just like the best cars on the market, giving your visuals a good test run will give them the best chance at success. Show a basic version of what you designed to a small set of test users. Ask them whether it solves their problem and whether they have any concerns about the quality of the data. Gather feedback and then create the next version. Rinse, wash, and repeat until your users have enough confidence in the visualization to make informed decisions. If you haven't already been utilizing these data visualization best practices, now is the time to start. They're a great way to give your visuals the necessary foundation to succeed. Let's do a quick review. Always take the time to know your audience. Know what they're looking for and adjust your approach accordingly. Provide context with your visuals. A brief summary can help them understand what they're looking at. Remain unbiased when presenting your data. Plan, plan, plan. Don't design without a game plan. Make sure your data is accurate and reliable. Lastly, use test groups and adjust, if necessary, to make the best visuals possible. And just like that, you're ready to take your data visualization to the next level. Until next time, I'm Noel. Thanks for watching JotForm.